Hey folks, Mike here along with Tammy. Hi folks. We're here at the Buford Trout Hatchery in Cumming, Georgia. Trout's big business in Georgia. The streams coming down out of the Blue Ridge Mountains are perfect habitat for trout, but we'd like to keep them stocked up for our visitors and for our anglers. So come along with us every Saturday afternoon around 1, they give a tour, and I hear, if we're lucky, we might witness a feeding frenzy. So come on along. Ready, Tam? Let's go. Here we go. Uh, we stock those trout into Georgia's public trout water. Uh, that's, you know, we're using your tax dollars to do that. And uh, the payoff is when we stock the trout in public water, you have the opportunity to go to those waters and fish for trout and hopefully catch some. And why are we doing this? Because over 200,000 trout stamps were sold in the state last year. That's a lot of people trout fishing in Georgia. They literally would wipe out populations in natural streams if we weren't supplementing what Mother Nature can do. Tammy, can we go see some trout? Let's go, let's go fishing. It's basically a super duty diesel flatbed truck that we then have customized, built, and put on a tank uh, specifically to haul trout. Uh, the, uh, the tank is made out of aluminum, but it's insulated with styrofoam. It's like a big cooler. Full of valve, and the water and the fish come pouring out right into the Chattahoochee River. So that's called a quick release, and that's a really good, quick way to, to, to uh, dump 400 fish. Do that a couple times, and then you know you move down another thousand feet, and you do it again, and you go down another 500 feet, and you do it again, and so you might stock a mile worth of creek, and there might be five or six spots in that mile that you actually stock the fish into a pool, and then they'll spread out up and downstream once they acclimate. If you come, if you visit here again in three to four years. Yeah, and you're going to run out of ideas. There's still on our nature trip, and they're going to take that good and bank, and that whole footprint. Right now, this is a, we just saw a brown trout raceway. Uh, there were about 8,000 fish in that section. This is a rainbow trout raceway. It's at about 600,000 fish. I just wanted to mention this, um, th this metal box underneath this little bridge here mm -hmm. uh, goes pretty much unnoticed by most visitors. Um, it doesn't look like it's doing much, but it's actually a, a, an important little piece of equipment that we use to re-oxygenate the water. And especially when we're feeding them like we do, a lot of oxygen is taken out of the water. So what, what we're doing is we're metering in oxygen from that pressurized tank over there through these lines mm -hmm. 
uh, into this box. Okay, well inside the box is a highly oxygenated area. And, and as long as you have some fall, you may have noticed this raceway is a little lower than this raceway. You need about 18 inches of fall for the water to pick up the oxygen efficient. And because they just fly to the Chattahoochee and then wait me out, they'll come back later. And, um, you know, they'll, they'll sit in there. Now the fish, uh, the fish sometimes, they just get used to the mallards being there and then, you know, the mallard will grab a fish. Well, you can either put your hand right in it or if you'd like to, you can feel it here. This, I want you to get a sense for just how cold this water is. And so here on this 80 degree day, we got 50 degree water and we got a, a, a plentiful supply of it because we're getting it from really very deep in Lake Lanier and it's just going through the dam and rolling down into our intake. You're going to see these open columns put up and we're going to pay a little extra on, in the electric an electricity bill to pump our water about three and a half feet taller so it will fall through a column and provide some extra oxygen. Okay. It's enough to keep that whole series healthy as long as the flow is maintained. Now you notice I said we're using one pump yet there's another one just like it sitting idle because if we have a mechanical failure we're going to come out we'll get an alarm and we'll come out here and we'll switch the other pump off. Because it has a unique smell. Yeah. It's an interesting way to pour it. You did remember. Yeah. You did remember. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'm going to pick you up here in a second. My boy. So you can see the fish. Uh, that, that smell is basically the two main ingredients in our feed. Uh, fish meal and fish oil. Oh. Okay. And when I say fish meal, I'm talking about ocean species like herring, manhattan, sardines, anchovies. Those kinds of fishes get get uh, you know harvested by uh, fisheries crews. Those fish are then sold by the pound to uh, fish meal mills, which then contract with the state of Georgia to make our feed. Um, every one of these bags weighs about 50 pounds and about once a month we get a tractor trailer show up here and we fill our house with feed. We spend the rest of the month feeding it out and uh, we go through 100, 100, 125,000 tons of feed a year. Get out. Anyone who would like to, you grab a handful and throw it right in there. Don't spill any. Oh, yeah. Give you some crop here, man. Yeah. Really, dude. We're always hungry. No, they're eating it. Well, those those products are really good for those guys. Uh, and when, when everything's going smoothly and they're getting a good diet, you got good flow, good temperature, good oxygen level, these fish grow about a half an inch a month. In April of 2020, at 10 inches long. That's, that's how we plan and kind of program our year. No, uh, the fisheries program has has a program called the Big Fish Program. Mm -hmm. Now I was telling you all along, most of what we stock are 10 inch rainbow trout, but 1% one, 1 of the total number on every truck are some 15 inch rainbow trout. Dives into a raceway, talons first, and will nail a fish that size. Pull them out of the raceway, and in fact, right on cue, there's one right there. Uh, okay, can you see him flying? 
He's, got, he's flying off to the right. He just, okay, he just went outside. And he may swing back over. Mm -hmm. uh, and I would almost encourage you to come back mm -hmm. to see how things change. Oh. Because we got really nice water right now, mm -hmm. uh, but we have had to put up our stacks. Mm -hmm. And as we get into the fall of the year, mm -hmm. the water will turn pea soup green. You, in fact, oh, really? you, you come out yeah. here in November and you will not be able to see oh, the bottom wow. of the raceway. Okay. Let alone the bottom of the river, you'll have a hard time seeing the fish. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it's all yeah. because Lake Lanier uh -huh. turns over slowly in the fall. Uh -huh. And while that's happening, uh -huh. dingy, low oxygenated water is what's coming down the river.